Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you 10 plus awesome tips and tricks and the first things you should do when you take out your brand new Samsung Galaxy A54 5G out of the box. And of course, the video is divided into chapters and the different timestamps can be found in the description of the video. So without any further delay, let us get down to business. The first thing I recommend you do with your brand new Samsung Galaxy A54 5G when you take it out of the box for the first time is to go into settings, software update, download and install and check for a software update. Generally, they do have a software update available right out of the box and you do want to be running the latest One UI on your Samsung Galaxy A54 5G. Next thing, as soon as you press and hold the side key or the power button, you will notice that it invokes Bixby or it activates Bixby now. Not everybody is a fan of that. So how do you fix that? You go into settings, then you go into advanced features, then you go into side key and here it is, press and hold, change this to power of menu. And now if you press and hold, bam, here it is, you have the power of menu. Another pro tip over here is that by default out of the box, if you double press the side key or the power button, it opens up the camera application. However, from here in you can change that to open a specific application as well. The next thing I recommend is to disable RAM Plus because that is known to make the device laggy. So how do you do that? You go into settings, battery and device care, go into memory and herein if you scroll down you will see something called RAM Plus. Now out of the box this is enabled. I do recommend that you turn the master toggle from on to off and of course you will have to restart your device for the changes to kick in. Then with Android 12, Google introduced Material U, wherein the icons, the quick settings panel adapt to the wallpaper. However, out of the box, this feature is disabled on Samsung devices. So how do you enable this? Well, you press and hold on the empty space on your home screen. Then you go into wallpaper and style. Then you go into color palette and here it is. Enable the master toggle for color palette. And of course, you can choose between wallpaper colors and basic colors and then once you've made your choice select apply and that is going to apply material you to your current theme it is of course going to take some time and bam here it is once that is done you will notice that my quick settings panel is now in green color and it does look pretty cool and another thing we can do is we can go back into the color palette section and also enable apply palette to app icons in which case the icons are also going to adapt to the new material you colors and the new material you theme next up the first thing which you interact with when you pick up your device is the lock screen so yes you go into settings and then you can go into the lock screen option and tap off any of these so let us tap on lock screen and now if you tap on the time you can actually customize and choose between multiple clock options similarly if you tap on the icons on the bottom you can customize those as well do you want the notifications to be none icon only or details and of course once you enable the details option you can choose the transparency as well similarly if you tap on contact information here and you can add your emergency contact information tap on any of the icons on the bottom right and the bottom left and you can customize your lock screen shortcuts as well and before i forget if you tap on the clock you can also change the color of the clock to your liking and if you do not like any of the pre-baked colors you tap on the last option over here and from here and you can either enter your own hexadecimal code or you can choose from the unlimited color palette which you have available select done and bam there it is the clock color and the icons on my lock screen are now in green color the next thing you would want to customize on your brand new Samsung Galaxy A54 is your quick settings panel. So while you're on the home screen, swipe down twice. Tap on the three dot menu on the top right and then go into edit buttons. Now all the buttons on the top are the ones which are available for you and the buttons on the bottom are the ones which are currently active and to switch them from active to inactive all you have to do is press and hold and drag them to the inactive section and similarly you can drag them from 
the inactive section to the active section as well and then select done another pro tip over here is that the brightness slider you can access it when you expand your quick settings panel by swiping down twice however in case you want to change that by accessing your brightness slider when you swipe down only once all you have to do is swipe down twice tap on the three dot menu on the top right go into quick panel layout brightness control and say show always select done and now if i swipe down once bam here it is i have my brightness slider available ready to rock and roll next up let us head over to sound and vibration so here and of course i'm not sure why samsung has disabled this vibrate when ringing toggle so make sure you do enable it similarly if you go into system sound from here and you can enable or disable your keypad sounds your keyboard sound your charging your screen lock and unlock sound next up if you go into your system vibration you can also enable or disable the vibration for your keypad keyboard charging gestures camera feedback and of course you can configure the system vibration intensity as well another pro tip over here if you go into sound quality and effects you have Dolby Atmos now again I'm not sure why Samsung has that disabled out of the box so make sure you do enable Dolby on your Samsung Galaxy A54 5G then another pro tip over here is if you go into separate app sound let us say you want music from youtube to always play on your bluetooth device well all you have to do is enable this option of separate app sound and then you can configure say youtube and what do you want to do with that so if you want it to be on your bluetooth device all the time there it is that is what we did right now and now any music which is playing from youtube app will play directly to your bluetooth device Next up have you ever regretted dismissing a notification without seeing it well if you go into settings notifications and then if you go into advanced settings you do have the option of notification history and once you enable this any notification which you dismiss without looking at it you can actually see your notification history then let us jump over to our display settings so in display do remember you have dark mode available and you can schedule it based on a specific time or from sunset to sunrise then make sure you have enabled adaptive brightness now i have that disabled for the purpose of this video but generally i do recommend and i personally do use adaptive brightness as enabled now do note for the first few days you might have to adjust the brightness to your liking but eventually after a week or something like that the phone is going to learn your brightness preferences so you won't have to mess around with that but again make sure that adaptive brightness is enabled then you also have eye comfort shield or what we know as blue light filter so you do not have to buy those expensive glasses with blue light then if you go into font style and size you can choose between three different fonts you can make your font bold in case you want to and you can also change the font size using the slider which is available on that page next up if you go into edge panels by default you have the application edge panel enabled but if you go into panels you can configure it or enable it for people tasks weather tools a bunch of other options and if you tap on the edit option below each panel you can configure that specific panel and to switch between the different panels all you have to do is swipe from your existing edge panel and you can also configure the handle the transparency the color so all those things can be customized and while we are in the display settings if you have applied a tempered glass screen protector on your samsung galaxy a54 5g and you are having touch issues make sure you enable this toggle of touch sensitivity because this is going to increase the touch sensitivity of the screen for use with screen protectors now another pro tip over here is i am not sure why samsung is still sticking to their three button navigation out of the box and to each their own but if you want to enable gestures go into display settings go into navigation bar 
and here it is swipe gesture if you go into more options you should be able to switch between two different gesture styles so swipe from bottom or swipe from sides and bottom choose whichever one you are comfortable with and bam here it is gestures working like a boss on the samsung galaxy a54 5g then if you plan to use your samsung galaxy a54 for quite some time and you want to increase the battery longevity you can do that as well so for that you will go into set settings battery and device care and then tap on battery once you're in battery scroll down go into more battery settings you will have the option of protect battery so here it is to extend the lifespan of your battery limit the maximum charge to 85 percent now another toggle which you can enable is to restart your device automatically so that it runs in tip top shape so how do you do that you go into settings battery and device care auto optimization and by default this is turned off so if you enable restart when needed it is going to restart your phone automatically to keep it in the best condition and it is only going to restart your phone automatically when you are not using your phone then if you want access to some experimental features which have not yet made it to the build but are present in one ui you can go into settings advanced features go into labs and here you will see swipe for pop-up view and swipe for split screen of course if you tap on those it is going to give you a brief tutorial on how to use those features and there it is peeps those were 10 plus tips and tricks and the first things you should do when you take out your brand new samsung galaxy a54 5g out of the box